Congratulations thank on the you. show. Thank you so much. I've had an amazing time shooting. I think it's an amazing blessing to just your job being you. I mean, if your job is just you being you, that's the most amazing blessing you can get. I think I, I love that. And the fact that we're here at the launch today, I'm excited. Amazing, amazing. What can we expect on Kyalokacha season two? For me, Kelo Culture Season 2 is about raw, is about family, is about love, and is about truthfulness. Because I feel like sometimes in family, you can hide a bit of the truth all the time so that you offer a soft landing. But this time, I'm not giving any cushions. It's just the pure truth. What can you tell us about that? Not all about love, but uh, I'm sharing my whole life. Um, I'm, an, I'm an open book and I, I think season two also shows that I'm giving a, a bit of my, not a bit, a, a lot of my life and I'm open, yeah. Talk to us about like the whole process of shooting and coming together with this production. Yeah. I know it must be like a lot of moving parts. Yes. How was it shooting for you? Oh. First of all, this season is much easier. I think I understand what I'm supposed to do now. Season one was a lot of, you know, trying here, trying there. But then season two has been, at least I know the brief, I know what to do. Um, and also the crew is great. Like the crew is intelligent, they're creative, and they're giving 100% of their energy. And so even for the cast, we're so happy to work with them. Describe your sisters in three words each. What or how would you de describe them as? Betty, I will say extroverted, fun, and very sweet. And Gloria? Gloria, I would say introverted, intelligent, and very funny. <laughs> what is the one thing that you guys mostly fight about? Clothes. Uh -huh. I mean, you have a sister. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> They're always up in your stuff. <laughs> Always, and you know, it's like we can shop, all of us can shop the same in the same store, yes. but the next day you find someone stealing your dress, you're like, really? You know, um, but we fight about clothes all the time. And, and, and really, fighting about clothes starts some very big fights we didn't ever expect. Yeah. The family values that, you know, are part of you, that you, of course you learn from your parents, yeah. that you carry each, each and every day. Yeah, first of all, family is everything. Um, family will be there for you um, through your tough times, your soft times, and they understand you and they don't have any judgment. Um, but also, I've also learned that you have to put a lot of effort with family. Um, effort in terms of your um, being present, you also have to be ready to be, to be apologetic when it's time, and you also have to be gentle. There's a type of gentleness you handle your family members that you wouldn't just handle anybody with. Um, and, and probably that's what you'll see in the show. We try to be as gentle as possible and at the same time being as honest because no one in this world will be as honest to you as your family member. They'll give it to you straight and that's important in life, so yeah. Uh, JB and I have been friends for a long time. Actually, we have been friends since we, our early years in business and so we become very fond of each other, especially in the business world and even as friends. And yeah, we are planning a little collaboration, something to just excite people up, both our audiences. Home 244 and Yellow need to do something because we are literally kids of the same parents. What are the lessons that you've learned from business so far? Oh, you have to be super resilient. Um, resilience is one of the things because sometimes there are good times and sometimes there are bad times. If you keep your resilience strong, then you, you, you can hack it. And also, I mean, ask for help. I think it's important. Like, no one wouldn't need help. Ask help from your partners, ask help from your bankers, ask help from your people, like ask help. When you're running a business, it's a whole entity that is feeding many people. So if you can get help, get it. What's your one pet peeve? Oh, people who litter. I do not agree with littering, especially on the road. Like if a guy removes cans of beer or whatever in his car and just, just throws it, like I don't even give him a second date. Like it's done. Um, I, that's a pet peeve and I can't help it. I just don't like people who litter, especially on the road. Marcy, talk to us about your outfit. You're looking very nice. Thank you. So this was organized by Simposh. Um, he's an amazing uh, designer. I love that he, he knows our shape and yeah. he's worked with us from the time we were like nobody. Yeah. He would dress us 
from then and, and we love to walk with him through the journey and he, he always for me brings it on. I love my dress too. Yeah. He's really good at it because you're looking fantastic.